Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Foliage. In today's video, we are going to be talking about this beautiful rose plant. Now, if you're going to take a look at this rose plant, you can see the leaves are very small as compared to a traditional rose plant. The reason behind that is because this is a different variety of rose plant. This is called as either the creeper rose or the climbing rose basically this is one of the rose that tends to climb onto a support so you'll have to either give uh, some kind of support to this plant in order to grow and as and when it starts to grow it tends to branch out and looks absolutely beautiful i'll put up the image of how this plant tends to look like when it is completely mature because this is a very small plant that i've purchased but you can see the leaves are very different even the thing that you can notice is the size of the rose is also very different a traditional rose plant has larger rows or it depends upon the type of variety you have they have larger rose flowers but whereas you can see this one it is quite small now there are over 300 plus varieties of rose plants apart from that there are tens and thousands of cultivars that are coming up in the market so whether it's a regular rose plant or whether it's a hybrid cultivar the care tips remains the same and that is uh, the soil mix let's start with the soil mix i tend to use a soil mix that is around 10 to 20 percent of cocoa peat rest is garden soil and sand because rose plants prefers a very rich organic soil that is loose porous and well draining of course i tend to use a lot of uh, tea leaves uh, dry tea leaves apart from that my compost tea because a rose plant is a very heavy feeding plant so you need to add fertilizers every now and then i tend to usually uh, feed my rose plant once a week with my liquid based fertilizer and apart from that i also add in a good amount of tea leaves because this plant was recently purchased hence i haven't added any of the tea leaves yet but i will do it eventually now you can see the leaves are very thin this is one another uh, characteristic of a creeper rose the leaves are going to be very small as compared to the regular rose plants now talking about the light it remains the same uh, for any rose plant you have to give a good amount of direct sunlight in order for it to get a good amount of blooms anywhere around seven to eight hours of direct sunlight is going to work out really well if if your rose plant is very mature it's very large it can even handle afternoon direct sunlight as well but you have to keep a watch on the watering because if you're going to offer too much of sunlight the soil will dry faster so you have to keep a watch on that they do not like to be kept underwatered if you keep them underwatered you'll start noticing that the leaves will start to turn droopy apart from that underwatering and overwatering both have the same effects you'll start noticing a lot of yellowing of the leaves so you have to check whether you are overwatering it or underwatering watering it in because in both the cases the leaves will start to turn yellow even if you're going to add too much of fertilizers it's not much of an issue because as i said this is a very heavy feeding plant I also tend to use orange peels uh, for them. I dry the orange peels in the sun and I offer it to my rose plant because anything that is citrus based like our orange peels or uh, sweet lime or lime, all these peels have a good amount of uh, citrus in it and that tends to work out really well. They tend to make the soil acidic and rose plants prefer a acidic soil. So that is also going to work out really well. Pest issues what I have seen on rose plants uh, mainly are aphids. They tend to attack when uh, the buds start to form so always do a watch out because the aphids can completely destroy your bud so you can go with any organic solution that you have been using all this while if you do not have anything the best what you can do is use two to three drops of vinegar uh, and two to three uh, drops of uh, dish soap or a liquid soap and mix it and dilute it with water and do a light mist on the bud do not use too much of vinegar otherwise that will damage the bud uh, so use in a very less quantity you can do this during the evening time and trust me the aphids will get uh, killed with this solution so that is one of the uh, solution you can go with apart from that a rose plant is very easy as long as you give the basic care to it that is a good amount of seven to eight hours of direct sunlight balanced watering a good amount of fertilizers and nothing can stop your plant from growing beautifully so guys uh, as i said i will put up the image on the screen of how the creeper or the climbing rose tends to look like it's very different from our traditional uh, you know uh, rose plants they tend to grow much like a wider plant or tend to grow a little bit more bushy but whereas the creeper and the climbing as the name suggests they tend to grow vertically and really high uh, 
taking up the support of whatever has been offered to it even at times uh, they also take support of the pipes uh, that are present on the house and they tangle along to that and they start to grow so guys that's all about it i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it